ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to your ninth video. I cannot believe you guys are still watching these tutorials. Congratulations. And here's a fun fact. I actually recorded this tutorial about five minutes ago, but then I went to edit it and I noticed that the mute was on my microphone. So I recorded the whole video and I had no audio. Freaking ridiculous. But anyways, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some really cool tricks when working with multiple documents. So we already know how to work with one document right here, but say we want to work with more than one document. So let me just go ahead and open up another one, uh, Statue of Liberty, and if I open a uh, picture of my sister, it doesn't really matter which documents you open. Now, of course, just like panels on the right hand side, anytime you want to switch between documents, just go ahead and click on the different tabs. Easy enough, but clicking takes a lot of work and burns a lot of calories, and we want to put those calories towards something more useful like watching TV. So, in order to do this the lazy way, go ahead and hold down control on your keyboard and hit the tab button. And once you hit the tab, as you can see, it cycles between your documents without ever having to touch the mouse. Super lazy, and that is super awesome because lazy equals awesome. Now, Say that you don't just want to see one document at a time, but you want to work with multiple, or in other words, you want to view more than one picture at a time whenever you're working. So in order to do that, we need to change the layout of our interface. Now anytime you want to change the layout, go to Window Arrange, and if you look closely at these options, you can see the icons give you a little preview of what to expect. So for example, this three um, up horizontal is going to stack each of your documents horizontally. Pretty cool. Now my favorite one whenever working with three is three up stacked. That kind of sounds like an insult. Boy, you just got three up stacked. Uh, uh, then you uppercut them in the face. So if you click that, you get one on the left. And by the way, this is a, a puppy I'm getting. It's six weeks old and I have to wait till it's eight weeks to uh, pick it up. But this is going to be my new freaking bloodhound puppy. Love it already. But uh, anyways, one image on the left and then two on the right hand side. And of course, the default is called consolidate all to tabs. Doesn't really sound like an insult. Boy, you just got consolidated all to tabs. Like what? And they'll probably drop kick you if you said that. But anyways, that is how you rearrange your layout. And another cool way that you can rearrange uh, your documents is just to switch the order of the tabs. Now you probably want to switch the order of the tabs. Maybe you took five pictures of someone hopping over a box in chronological order. So you don't want to have them like one, three, five, two, four. You want them one, two, three, four, five. So in order to change um, the order of your tabs, just go ahead and drag them and drop them left or right. So now Haas is first. If I wanted this last, I just go ahead and put it last. There you go. Now the last thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to make a tab a floating window. So say that I wanted this puppy to be its own separate window, kind of like we did with the panels. Just go ahead and hold on to the tab, drag it, drag it out into this gray area, and drop it. Now whenever we drop it, as you can see, it's its own floating window, just like uh, Microsoft Windows. And by the way, if you guys ever saw um, Microsoft Windows 8, it does not look that great to me. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. So the reason that you may want to make one a floating tab, and I actually do this a lot whenever I'm working with um, multiple documents that I want to combine together, is you can make one a floating tab and drag it onto another document and check it out. Now we get two layers or two images in the same document. But already I'm getting ahead of myself. I shouldn't even be talking to you guys about layers yet. That's a tutorial for another day, so just forget I ever said that. So for now, I just want to say thank you. Don't forget to uh, follow me on Google+, Plus, add me in the cool people circle. And uh, once you do, you're ready to move on to the next video. So hopefully my sound was working in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.